Did you miss me? Hello everyone. As you can see, we are not in my usual space. We are in my basement. So if you hear anybody screaming in the background... <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> so this is the biggest life update I'm gonna give you yet. Let me tell you what's what's been happening, what's been going on. Mm, it dropped out of school, <laughs> but that's like halfway. So let's start at the beginning. I was born and then everything went wrong, basically. So, we all remember my last video. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. My last video was me traveling around Greece. And I've had the best month of my life. And then everything went south very fast. Um, while I was there, I decided that I was going to go to university after finishing my first bachelor's degree. I thought that was a good idea. Turns out that university sucks ass. I don't know why everybody's acting like university isn't a big deal because... What the fuck? But like in all seriousness... <laughs> People who go to university and act like everything is normal and everything is fine need to go to the mental hospital because that shit should be illegal. So let me recap. First week of university, everything was already shitty, but I was expecting the first week to be a bit shocking. Everything's new, everything's weird, everything's hectic. Second week, still the same shit. I had chemistry for the first time in my life and I was expecting this to be hard. But we saw so much shit the first class. We saw like one exam in high school in two hours. And this woman was just like, like she was a great teacher, do not get me wrong, because I had a lot of professors that were just questionable at best. She was great. She was a great teacher. Except for the fact that we had to know everything in five minutes and she was just like, but we all know this, right? <laughs> and then there's me, you know, all the way in the back with a headache and like having a panic attack like No, no, we don't all know this Sweetheart But I was expecting chemistry to be hard, but all the fun things weren't as fun as I was expecting We had art history love art history my favorite my favorite class was art history but we started in the middle ages why 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 we didn't see the greeks we didn't see romans we didn't see prehistoric art where it all started why? didn't understand and i still don't understand so that was also kind of a bummer, you know? If the hard things get even harder than you expected, then the fun things aren't as fun as you expected, and the teachers sucked, and the people in my class were all very... me. Except for one, she quit. But then besides all of this, you know, outside of class, I was still trying to be the fun little student that I thought I was. So I was going to parties and doing fun things, but every time I went to a party, I was like, mm, I don't know if I like this anymore, like, all the people were... Yikes, and then, uh, I don't know, I just felt a little bit like I wasn't in my place anymore. Which doesn't mean that if you get older, you cannot go to parties anymore, but just the... Uh, just like the this like the student scene yeah it wasn't my thing anymore but then i got like panic attacks about the fact that i was growing up because i hate the fact that i'm growing up and then i was getting panic attacks because i didn't get invited anymore to do anything but then when i got invited to go anywhere i would hate it <laughs> so there was a lot of crying involved and a lot of uncertainties involved and a lot of stress involved and then i got sick because if i get a lot of stress i get sick which is great <laughs> fun times um and i also had the feeling that nobody could really understand what i was going through because like i said everybody who's in university acts like it's acts like it's high school which it isn't what the fuck like let me give you an example there was this professor and he was giving us a, a like a paper to write at home and he was like yeah you can write this paper if you want to if you don't want to it's fine 
you don't have to do it for me, you know? If you don't want to write this paper, you don't have to. But it's a very good preparation for your exams. Procrastination is my second name. You really think that I'm going to be able to finish a paper without the pressure of you have to finish this by tomorrow? Behind me, no. No, if you're gonna tell me that I don't have to do this, my mind's gonna be, it's already forgotten. What do we have to do? Nah, nothing, because it's not mandatory. I don't have the self-discipline to do it, okay? So, sir, please tell me that it's mandatory, because I'm not gonna do it. I know you don't need me to do it, but I need you to tell me that you need me to do it, because otherwise I'm not gonna do it. So yeah, after my fourth mental breakdown, I was crying in bed, so unhappy because nothing in my life was working out. I hated everything that I was doing, but I wanted to like it really bad, which sucks even harder. Because it would have been so cool if I finished this degree, but it was four more years. And it wasn't because I didn't want to learn anything anymore. I still want to learn stuff. I just don't want to prove to other people that I know this. I don't want to make an exam. I don't want to write a paper to prove to you that I can write something. Oh, shut up, okay. <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore. So I dropped out, which was a very good decision. I haven't regretted it once ever since. But that doesn't mean that the stress was gone. It was a lot better. But then real life started. And holy fucking Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, so I started looking for a job. So we have like this system in Belgium. I don't know if, if they have it everywhere else as well, because I'm new to this. I don't know. So you just announce on this platform. It's kind of like LinkedIn, kind of, but like more official with the government. Anyway, so you just announce on this website that you're looking for a job and your phone keeps ringing forever. I got these phone calls from people, but I hate phone calls. So every time when I see like it's a number and not somebody that I know, I just let it ring. If it's an interesting voicemail, I will call you back. If it's not, then you don't know me. <laughs> I got this phone call and it was like, hi, yeah, it's Laura, please call me back. What company are you from? What's the job? Like, is it even interesting for me to call you back because who knows? <laughs> Who knows? So yeah, very confusing, very weird. A lot of those kind of phone calls. There was one example, she was like, so uh, what line of work are you looking for? And I am graduated as a teacher. So I was like, something in education. She was like, okay, but are you, um, I cannot offer you something like this, but are you also interested in something else? I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. She was like, do you like to work with people? Do you like to work with people? Was what she said. I was like, yeah. She's like, oh, so you like to work closely with people. And it's not going the way you think that it's going. It's absolutely not. I was like, yeah, yeah, I really like to work with people. And she was like, okay, let's uh, arrange a Zoom meeting tomorrow at 10 a.m. I was like, okay, sure. So we can get to know each other better. Yada, yada, yada. Sure. So she sends me an email with a link to the Zoom meeting for the next day. And I see what company she's from. So I Google her little company and it's like a door-to-door -door salesman job. I worked my ass off for four years not to... Tring, tring, you wanna buy this? No, I do not. I do not want to do that. I'm not gonna do that. So I send her an email. It's like, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. No, thank you. <coughs> so I got two interviews one day. I go to the first one from the high school. Great people, great atmosphere, a very specific kind of school, very nice, um, difficult. It's like difficult kids, they have a lot of baggage, you know, it's not just a normal high school, yada yada yada, no, they need extra help, which I love. I love a good, we love a good challenge. And then I left this school thinking, okay, I'm definitely gonna work here, but I'm also going to the second interview because courtesy, I guess. I come there and the vibes are totally off. It's a big ass school. The seasoning was gone. No hats in class. They have to sit in straight lines. I was like, no. So I called the other school, like, let's do this. So now I am a high school teacher. And all of this happened in the span of two weeks. 
bitch. Manifestations, honey. Manifestations. I was depressed as fuck thinking that my life needed to change 360 degrees before I was going to feel better, so I just fucking did it. And it was the most scary thing I've ever done in my life, but now I feel so much better. Relieved that I don't have to prove anything to anyone anymore. I mean, I still have to do my job in a decent way and prove to like my boss that I can do this. But like, I can do it in my own way. I don't have to follow the rules, don't have to write papers, don't have to... And I have money. The amount of stress that fell off my shoulders realizing that I'm not gonna have to eat rice every single meal of the day. Don't get me wrong, I love rice, not that much. So yeah, that's, that's my little life update. I am working right now, three days a week, which is pretty chill because the other times I can use to hopefully get something on my channel again, except for life updates, because I think everybody's a little bit tired of, tired of every update all the fucking time. <laughs> I'm gonna try to post once a week again. Should be possible. I hope it's possible. It's definitely possible. I just need to get my schedule in order, you know, so I can plan filming videos, writing videos, editing videos, posting videos, making thumbnails, everything. If you guys want to see something, please do let me know because I am willing to film anything. Well, not anything. Don't have an OnlyFans. Yet. So yeah, let me know if you want to see something and I will try to make it happen. I have a lot of ideas brewing in my mind and I am hopefully going to make all of them come true and post them. And I hope you guys will be along, alone, alone for the ride. That you guys will be excited for them as well. Christmas is coming up. I am very excited. I'm going to decorate my apartment. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being so patient with me. I love you all lots. You right there, looking at me right now. Love you. And I will see you guys in the next one, which hopefully will be next week. Broke and it's getting way too high